Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by bankruptcy attorney E. Orem Young. Now, your local weather with meteorologist Brian Briggs. Well, good Tuesday morning. The time is now almost 548 and uh, already starting off on a quiet, beautiful note here in the Arklamas. That will be changing, though, as we headed through the remainder of the day today. Look at the sunrise just starting to make itself known. And uh, generally, temperatures are sitting in the middle 70s this morning. We're 75 here in the Twin Cities. Generally, though, all of us are in the lower to middle 70s. So, live storm tracker Doppler radar is also quiet as well, not seeing anything currently. However, kind of off towards the back in the south and east of our graphic here, you can see some returns starting to show up and that's generally the moisture that's starting to filter in from Marco that will be impacting the Arklamas' weather today. However, we won't really be feeling too much other than some showers and thunderstorms. But the bigger story continues to be remaining Tropical Storm Laura and uh, holding still at Tropical Storm strength at least at, since 4 o'clock. But you're noticing a little bit more organization as it makes its way into the Gulf of Mexico here and uh, that's because, well, it's moving into a very favorable environment for development as it tracks north and west through the next couple of days. Look at these sea surface temperatures overlaid with the tropical track here. You're noticing uh, 85 and 86 degree temperatures. That is more than enough for tropical storm development here. And eventually it's expected to become a hurricane as we head into the later afternoon today. So tracking as a Cat 1 hurricane, eventually becoming a Cat 3 hurricane by the time it makes landfall somewhere near the Texas-Louisiana coastline, eventually working its way northward, which does include parts of the Arklamas still, and eventually tails off towards the north and east once it gets north of our area. So there has been a very subtle slight west shift in this track as of the latest update. And uh, yeah, I could potentially see it go into Texas still at this time. But even with that being said, if it continues to trend westward, effects will still be felt here in the Arklamas specifically. So as we head through the remainder of this afternoon and evening, we'll see those potential for shower and thunderstorm really increasing here as that moisture filters in from Marco. So again, uh, just times of heavy rainfall, some cloud to ground lightning and gusty winds can be expected as uh, these storms develop mainly from daytime heating. Few of them could last though a few hours after sunset, but generally this activity will wind down through the night tonight and uh, we'll see a repeat as we head into our Wednesday here with more showers and thunderstorms. But again, the main focus continues to be what Laura does as it starts to make landfall very early Thursday morning. And here's kind of a glimpse of what we could see as we head into early Thursday morning. This is uh, kind of the last uh, at least uh, shot here on our future tracker model and this one at least wants to put it into East Texas instead of the Arklamas, but we're still in the northeast quadrant of this storm system, and that would suggest a uh, fairly good potential for flash flooding still, and the potential especially for tornadic weather. So as far as severe weather potential and that tornadic potential for later Wednesday into Thursday, I can see uh, definitely a potential here for a good chunk of the Arklamas. Marginal risk for a good uh, portion of us. A little bit higher chance, though, along our southern parishes. Not shocking. That's a little bit closer to a lot of the uh, storm's dynamics. And as the system continues to push north and east, generally all of us will remain under the gun for that potential. So I'll continue to stay updated with the latest forecasts. I know we're getting very close to this actual event. However, details are still very much subject to change with this uh, uh, ever-evolving forecast. So. Possible rainfall totals, it looks like all of us, though, will get a decent soaking here. Three to four inches, a little bit further towards the north and east, and five to six inches, maybe even higher locally amounts, uh, where the track is expected to go here as uh, these storms continue to push into our area. Getting into the lower 90s today, again, that potential for showers and thunderstorms exists. And as we head into the seven-day forecast, Thursday still is the day we need to keep an eye out on. And uh, moisture will stick around through the end of the week into the weekend, but it won't be as uh, high of a storm potential during that time frame, and generally temperatures will be getting into the lower to middle 90s.